Back again with Matt at Horizon Hobby. Matt, the habu shape, of course, familiar uh, to most hobbyists now as a great uh, ducted fan, electric ducted fan uh, jet. Tell us a little bit about the Park Zone Habu 2. Well, um, what we did is we took the uh, the original Habu and did a few things that our customers have been asking for it. Uh, we changed the trim scheme, obviously, to a nice, bright, vibrant Air Force trim scheme, so very easy to see in the air. Uh, we've also done a couple extra things that uh, a lot of our customers have been asking for, where you can have optional flaps. So you drop in two additional servos, and the flaps are functional. All the hardware is included in terms of push rods and control horns. And then you purchase the uh, E-Flight tricycle gear, retrac electric retracts, right. and you make this a, basically a full six-channel you know, park, park jet. So park it's, jet. And, and it really opens up the envelope. I mean, the flaps allow you to come in a lot slower, take off slower, and the retracts, of course, are just amazing. And you know, it just expands the performance absolutely. envelope and the enjoyability, of course, of, exactly. uh, of flying it. Right. Uh, what are we looking at for uh, price for the Habu 2 and availability? Well, this one's a little different than we've done in the past. Okay. We're doing this one as a bind and fly basic, okay. which is no battery and no charger. Mm -hmm. So, you know, a lot of the guys may have uh, the battery and charger from the original right. Habu. You know, there's a lot of 3300 forest mm -hmm. packs out there. So a lot of guys have high-end chargers. So yeah. we figured this would be a great, great avenue for that. And the price is $299, which is basically what the old Habu plug-and-play was. Right. So you basically get a free receiver for the price of the old plug-and-play, which is kind of oh, nice Oh, which bonus. is a, a great bonus. Absolutely. And that would be with, uh, I'm, I'm sure, with fixed landing gear, of course. Correct, correct. And uh, you would have to buy the two servos for the uh, yeah. for the, uh, the flaps, yes. I should say. Yes. And out of the box, you, know, you can fly it, uh, you know, belly land, belly or hand launch at belly land or with the fixed gear, or then you can, uh, you know, install Does it the have a provision underneath? Uh, where would you hand launch it from? Uh, um, typically, what we've done is you hold it behind the airplane in the front and kind of support it both and okay. launch it. Okay, and yeah. launch it away. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right, exactly. And and obviously some new EDF pilots are going to see this and just be excited as all get out. And they Absolutely. might have a few uh, incidents, right, uh, right. you know, thump it down a little hard on right. arrival. Uh, what kind of durability are we looking at for the for the foam version of the uh, of the Habu? You know, if anybody has seen the original one, you, yeah. they've seen that it's tough. It can take quite a beating. And, of course, you know, replacement parts are available at most hobby stores around the country and on HorizonHobby.com. So very easy to get parts and fix the airplane to get it back, back in the air. Right. Now, landing gear, after we were talking about uh, maybe uh, you had it for fixed gear or for retracks, uh, again, Parts are readily available Absolutely. for both. Exactly. Yep. Okay. Yep. So easy to get pretty much anything you need for this airplane to Looks get. Looks like here. a really durable EDF from Horizon Hobby.